Hey guys, I'm really excited today. What I'm going to be doing is finally putting up my Bison Euro mount up on the wall. And what I've done is purchased the skull bracket through skullbracket.com and it's a, a buffalo bracket. But what they say is, is that it's good for buffalo, elk, moose, and cattle skulls. So it's uh, built for big game animals, heavy duty, heavy mounts. And so I've tested it out and it seems to support and hold this very well and position it nice off the wall. And it's pretty simple installation. Uh, they recommend like a 3 16th inch drill bit for a pilot, a number three Phillips head um, for the, the screws that come with the, the kit. I'll be using a stud finder, a small level, and I'm going to be using a step ladder just to make sure that I'm up and able to drive the screws in that are pretty good size uh, without running the risk of stripping the heads. So I think it should be a pretty straightforward installation and uh, let's go ahead and go get it up on the wall. We'll see how it goes. All right guys, so changing plans. Originally I'd planned on trying to hang it up higher on a wall and after looking at it I re didn't really like the position of where it was. So I've actually went completely opposite. I'm actually in an area here where I'm actually going to be hanging it low. But same kind of mounting instructions and so far it looks like it's going nice. What I ended up doing was going ahead and identifying the height that I wanted and then I did a pilot with the 316 inch uh, drill bit and then switched over to the number three uh, Phillips bit and was able to go ahead and screw this top one in. And then now what I'm doing because this bar uh, here is going to be what the skull is resting on with these two supports here in the back. And so I've just put a level here on this bar to make sure that that is truly what's level so when the skull is sitting on it um, it should be hopefully true. So all I'm going to do is, is just mark the center here to give me an aiming point and then I'll go ahead and drill this next pilot hole and then put in the final screw. Still looks good. Okay. Go ahead and put this one in a little bit better. That actually seems pretty solid. Okay. Move this out of the way. And what I'll do is go ahead and set the skull here and we'll see how it looks. Yeah, that's good and solid. So I'll slide it down on where it rests up on those two catches like that. There we go. So this is kind of tucked in a little area here shielded kind of by like the TV and where I have a pedestal deer mount and um, not a high traffic area to where I got to worry about it being knocked off but it seems really nice and solid. Um, not seeing any movement really in the mount itself or the bracket, just a little bit where it sits and, and you can see it's, it's hold, holding nice. Yeah, I really like that. So if you guys get a chance and if you, if you have like a, uh, a euro of, a, you know, as I said, an elk, a moose, a buffalo or bison or a uh, you know, maybe a cow skull, look up this skullbracket.com and see how it works for you. I'm pretty excited with it. Finally got this up on the wall, a place where, you know, I can view it. Got it out of my unfinished side of my basement. But, uh, yeah, anyways, check it out. Hope you guys uh, found this video useful. If you did, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. I'll be bringing you more content. And I uh, just appreciate you guys joining me and supporting me here on this channel. I'm just excited. And what I try to bring to you all is just some of the things that I find that uh, work well. And then uh, also things that, you know, a lot of people are excited about and I try out that, um, you know, maybe I just don't want to make, I want to make sure people don't fall in the trap I did and buy it. But this year, like I said, I bought one for my dad and was really, I thought, happy with how it seemed to do. And, and so now I'm just wanting to share this with you all. So. All right. Well, guys, appreciate again joining me, and we'll see you in the next video.